Do they want to know? Welcome once again to Rhino Burrows Nerdsville Block of Fun. This is on a very popular superhero by the name of Kal El, or commonly known as the Son of Krypton, also known as Clark Kent, but most popularly. Super Man. Oops, sorry. <clears throat> it's... This is a video... This is a nerd video on... Why... Uh, if you put anyone against Superman, it's going to be simply a, a stacked deck. Uh, this is what uh, DC has done. If they go, oh, Superman, he's our, he's like our top guy. We should make him have everything. Uh, uh, your vulnerability, flight, soup. And th I'm listing the um, uh, the powers he has. Uh, vulner invulnerability, flight, uh, super speed, super strength, super breath, x-ray vision, super hearing, accelerated, accelerated healing, uh, heat vision, mental powers, super hypnoticism, super ventriloquism, super... Uh, microscopic vision, telescopic vision, energy absorption from the yellow sun and blue sun. Uh, in one of the Superman movies, uh, he had the power to rebuild the Chinese Great Wall. Uh, the ability to let me see it says here and this is another one uh, as I said uh, rebuild the Great Wall of China super color ID super hip hypnosis in action yeah take I uh, take off Jedi mind trick super swimming Super magnetic touch, super playing dead and shape shifting, super itching and antiquing, super chewing down, super kiss, super mathematics, super projection TV, super weaving. Super makeup, super sneeze, super landscaping, super friction. And, uh, and there's like a part, it's like compiling and compiling and compiling. With only one weakness, and that's uh, a radioactive sub substance from his home planet, or a red sun. But those are the only two things that would make him weak and useless. And all these things, you know, like super kissing, and in doing so, erasing as. Uh, Erasing in some movie, memory erasing in in that. And it is so, it is so much, you know, put against every single uh, hero known to mankind. 
the only person who actually the only people who can come close and that would be the Justice League or anyone who has the green kryptonite it is so uh, it is so much boom 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 with this uh, with this accumulation uh, with normal superheroes and let me just say <clears throat> like uh, Goku for instance there are limitations that make him super those are a manga character manga and anime character but still super uh, he has he is a he is a true hero uh, you got to Captain America from Marvel. He, though he was given his powers from an outside source, hmm, it is still uh, a, some sort of superpower. But to and with super speed, you know, with the flash and and you might as well say uh, he is a super detective. He is a super a super psychic. Uh, he's a super. Why don't you just call him Ultraman and be done with it, or Ultimate Man, and end it completely. He has every single power. With super speed, you can go, oh, I can go to the speed of light. And all this stuff, it is... And, and speaking, I just feel that Superman is a far... He's like an ultimate cluster, you know what, you know. Uh, once again, sorry for the, um, once again. Actually, no, I'm not, you know. A cluster, a cluster, Baruch, Ultraman, Carnage, King. Yep. Put all those four, put the first layer of each of those things together. Superman is a cluster the ultimate in cluster when it comes to powers with having super intelligence, super speed and super uh, strength that's like the virtually like the trinity of powers uh, psychic is you know a super intelligent uh, being able to and also you know this whole Oh, do that, and that planet is gone. Uh, oh, I can pull, I can fly in space. You know, space being able to fly about. Wow, I can fly through space. I can push planets, which are extraordinary amount of weight. X amount of giga, let's see, X amount of trillion giga, mega, kilo, ultra ton planet they could push. Yes. Uh, <sighs> let's see. Lewis, I'm going to be late. Uh. This interview is taking too long. Oh, see ya. Doop. You know? I guess. Uh, see this planet back. And puts the planet back into its orbit. And flies back to Earth uh, and goes, alright. Uh, time for the light speed. Uh. Yeah. And this is constant thundering throughout space 
And he goes, oh, wormhole. All right. And he's that. In one end and out the other. Quicker than I can step a finger. Quicker than a hummingbird that can beat its wing. And he goes, oh, earth. All right. I'm home. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Then I said, oh, I thought you were going to be late. And he goes, oh, just got a bit lucky coming back from this interview. Doing the whole Clark Kent persona. It is, it is far, it is way beyond a joke to think that a company, well, a, more, a uh, fictional company can be so greedy as to stockpile nearly every single power known to known to supernatural kind on one individual. For me, I just said invulnerability or to a limited invulnerability. Uh I would do. I would say, okay, you can have your super speed. You can have your super strength. You can have your flight abilities. Super. You can have your ice breath and heat vision. And of course, I'll still continue on with the. Yeah, you know, kryptonite can hurt him. Some shock. Something shocking. I can also do uh, I'll even keep the red sun to weaken him but I will not do this and, and let me just say this the God mode is a ripoff it is an ultimate in cluster effery ever to add a God mode to this to a character that has a cluster effery of powers and abilities it is an unfair event it is it is an unneeded thing and and I'm being honest from my own heart to you guys uh, it is an un for me it is an unspeakable sin or an un actually an unwritten sin to give a super to give a hero an unlimited amount of powers I would say you know a little bit of a, a extra a little bit of um, a little bit of super hearing but that's about it you know just do those six but, and I do say this, and and I am accusing DC Comics, it's uh, themselves, for allow for not checking what can and can't be done within the superhero premise. Uh, as. Uh, With Cyclops from X Men, you know, with his laser vision, and when he takes, when someone rips off the um, visor that he's looking through, his weakness is like he can't open his eyes to to see what's going on. Uh, Wolverine, his weakness is magnetic. Like if someone has magnetic powers, like Magneto, he could just go, all right, one, two, three, stretch, doing that, and even yanking the Magneto can easily, quote, you know, quarter Wolverine at at his whim. Magneto, you have to have the Earth to be. You have this perpetual amount of energy. Uh, Wolf, uh, Sabretooth disconnect his head from his rest of his body. Uh, any so anyone mental attacks. That's a weakness. 
Uh, even with this modern day superheroes coming uh, coming through like Ben 10. I can classify Ben 10 as a superhero. He morphs into other creatures from other planets. But there are limitations on each uh, for if definitely for each uh, metamorphosis that he transforms into. Uh, Goop, if you, and also the timing of the watch is also a weakness as well. Centrifuge, Goop, and when Ben becomes Ben again, <laughs> bye bye. Uh, uh, Chromostone and Diamond Head. They have frequency disturbance that can really shatter them. Forearms, uh, uh, someone with a bit more intelligence. Uh, Terra spin, a uh, rope, you know, some sort of vineage thing, heat blast, is water, heavy duty water, you know, and all these other things. That, but yet, it's though people say, oh, Ben 10, he's a cluster effing uh, little brat that doesn't know how to control his powers properly. I said, there are, Ben 10 is a far better uh, superhero than Kal-El, aka Superman. It's because that the li it is, for, for me, uh, a true hero must c overcome some sort of uh, limitation, some sort of uh, like go from a higher uh, a plane. And let me just get this. It'd be like um, Combuskin trying to take on a Blastoise if you want to use if we're using Pokemon. Combuskin is a weak, weaker fire type. Uh, it's like a middle evolution. Blastoise is the final evolution, and you just got this clashing of uh, different powers and that. And if the combustion somehow wins against the Blastoise, well then yes, I could say, you know, kudos to Blast the two, uh, Combuskin. You beat in the chart. You beat it a a Blastoise. Congratulations to you and and hope you get enough energy like, points to evolve. That is like an overcoming, and that way. And that's the reason why I, I honestly like Goku. He has to overcome the villain. Like every villain that he fought, it has been greater in power and in abilities and in certain other facets of the of uh, though he's got like the Kamehameha wave and all this other stuff. And there's so much uh, that DC has done wrong as in this ultimate in sin. Also, Super Earth, the rebuilding power, that's another one that's been added.
time power. And as it's and as it as as I said, with all these lists coming on with with powers, it ended up being a cluster effing uh, overkill for powers. Like oh, but then he has to learn how to be like a more of a you know put himself you know put himself in a bit of a weaker state so he can take on pa people. Like <laughs> get lost, Mister Freeze comes up. He goes. Yeah, you know, heat beams him. Bada bing, bada boom. He can take on everyone in the DC universe and win because of this cluster effing crap that is going on with DC. Though I said it's block of fun, it's it's a, it's more of a my the my way of this is like a this is like another rant in other, in other words so yeah uh, just to say oh we got to have the you know you know got to do the, the whole you know we got we got you know respect the man of steel we got to respect the people who created the man of steel i have no to be honest with you i have no respect for any person who had a hand in giving is transferring this one one here one um, character into a cluster effing bag of tricks and that's what Superman is He's nothing more than a bag, than a glorified, an overly glorified bag of tricks. Oh, look what I can do! I can charm. Uh, uh, I, to be honest with you, I can see this in coming in the coming in hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred years down the track with DC must probably be still being in existence. And they go, ah, oh, what else can we do to, um, I know, water evaporative technique. If there's a villain made out of water and he wants to kill the world, all Superman has to do is go, boom, and he's <laughs> fizzed. Uh, what other... What other powers can we give him? Oh, I know. Let's steal the car. Let's steal. Let's take all these powers from anime and manga. We'll give him a energy beam, a, a chi. No, we'll give him ten chi based or ki based attacks. Uh, let's just see, um, that Destructo disc looks nice. That... Ga that garlic gun looks exquisite. Oh, we gotta definitely give him the spirit bomb. What? And, you know, going to be like the whole list. Try beam cannon! From, you know, the Tien doing that and... Oh, a key version of that Wolf Fang Fist thing. You know. Hmm, since he's been around for a long time. Oh, I know. Let's have him go to a monastery and learn the tiger style of martial arts, the snake style, the, the crane, the praying mantis. The monkey style of kung fu. Then we'll send him to um, with him having time distortion. We'll have him go back to feudal Japan. We'll have him learn the art of the samurai. Oh, I know that thing from Naruto. What is it? The multi shadow clones. We can give him 
so many we can tr go into go ah oh, see uh, it's going to be too long all right but up uh, yeah but a uh, being huge clap a thousand no 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 that seems too of a normal number 10,000, that's like the QB mode in Naruto. Hmm. One billion supermen. Go. <clears throat> well, let's see if I can learn this and like that. And guess what? Boom. He will learn it like that. He's like, alright. We'll have one million in Japan. We'll have one million in China. In the United States. We'll have... We'll have so many of Superman, Superman, in various countries. Learn the fighting styles. Go all right. Oh, that seems like an interesting amount of time. Accumulate knowledge. <laughs> and, and it can do everything. I can see that in the years to come. I can honestly see that in the years to come and this is not a cons and this is what you can easily say a conspiracy theory if not it is a doomsday prim prophecy for the man of steel he's got so many so much powers and you can say oh let me see if you can go back in time uh, let's see if we can go give him back to Krypton. Yeah, time distorted, light speed, uh, instant transmission technique. Boom. He goes back to Krypton. Grabs every... You know, he can even do like the whole... Send over six billion since, like, oh god mode. Do six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twenty-four, eighty-eight, ninety-two billion supermen. Send them to various planets. Learn all of their fighting styles. All learn all their different techniques. Go all right. Bada bing, bada boom, boom. Let's see. Uh, and you go, alright, let's just do this. And do like pull off like a Lord Raiden from uh, Mortal Kombat Armageddon. Alright, let's just put some of my power here. Here and here and here. And so is this just gonna be again like over and over and over that so many so much of this power, so many abilities will be like a shopping list as long as the circumference of the world written in new roman font and font size 2 that will be the list of abilities list of techniques list of fighting styles and that's each that Superman will get in the next couple of hundred years which will be honestly it'll be a, a an abomination to comic writing and it'll be very much it'll be very hard for a independent comic book writer to get involved into comics because of like oh he's got like my character the uh, uh, uh like any net or uh, let me see any max whatever animal he touches he can have that power he he knows how to use that power effectively 
But when he prints that off in another 80 or in the next, as I said, next couple of hundred years, someone will go, oh, you know you, st you stole that from Superman, new Mega Ultraverse, uh, issue 48, where he went that technique from Learned that from uh, DNA, like from the DNA planet in the zoo, zoo cluster nebula. How to absorb and how to absorb and utilize animal powers to the to its extreme. You are nothing more than a thief. Which will get a lot of independent comic writers to go, oh sh you know, oh crap, you know. Which, which is going to be hard on them. And this, all this conglomeration, all this cluster effery, when it comes to one character in the DC universe, and I'm guessing he'll be able to create his own um, lantern ring. The Ring of Justice, and he'll be like on a recreated Krypton, or or made up Krypton, or Krypton two point fifty eight thousand, or something like that. And and one thing they'll be going, oh, oh, since I have so much of this power, I can be the land, I can be the Lantern Corps. I'll just put, and since I'm getting old. And Wrinkly and nuts and very wise. I'll I'll build a lantern so I can house myself in. And since I am a god after all, I will give you all my powers. And you just have that and you have that shield and everyone goes I have a sense of justice. Then you got all these super like all super men. No super Super creatures around the universe, which will have every single power that he's got, and and when they die, whatever abilities they had, but prior to getting the ring, we'll be getting, we'll be sent back to soups, and that uh, per, and we'll be going. It will be a continuation of uh, the Kal El. Uh, the Kalal Core. We fight and fought we fight in our time of flight. Powers of the universe you can unite. We will show our prestigious light. Let no force in the universe take down Kal El's might. Now I can honest, honestly, I can see that happening. I can see that. Uh, oh, let's get rid of Batman. Let's get rid of Wonder Woman. Let's get rid of the Flash. We already got this main character. We don't need anyone else. That's what it's going to be like. If you are a detective fan and you love Batman and you want to see him continue fighting against the Joker. But DC will go, eh, let's kill him off. Let's kill off the Penguin. Bane. Kill Croc. We'll kill off all these villains from all these other guys. We'll even kill off Lex Luthor, Lex Luthor too. And just have minor characters pop up, pop up now and then. We'll even destroy the green... Green, um... Uh... The green kryptonite, and we'll have him be so powerful. Not even the red sun can do damage to him. It's just so stupid and so ludicrous to think that 
to put so much power to give so, one character so much abil so many abilities it is it is ultimately a cluster F up ultimately a cluster F up I know you I know Superman fans will disagree with me but all this stuff is true and all of it will happen in the years to come we got to have power, we got to have, when it says superheroes, we got to have weaknesses for those heroes so they can overcome said weaknesses in times of extreme peril to be able to save the day. Like Mr. Fantastic, he gets elastic, you know, he can stretch out to, um, you know, various lengths, but if he's within a very cold climate, he can't stretch out. And yeah, that and this is just about it for this uh, video. Uh, I just want to say, uh, keep safe to you all, and um, as I always say, peace.